So most people struggle with drilling straight. Drills are oddly shaped because they're designed to fit in our hands and their weird balance means it can be hard to get a truly vertical or horizontal lineup. I've seen a lot of suggested hacks and techniques like using a square for lineup or possibly even these crazy mechanical guides that try to turn your drill into a drill press. As far as I'm concerned, one simple method makes all of those things obsolete. It's cheap and effective and that's what I'm talking about today on The Honest Carpenter Show. So if you really want to drill straight quickly, do yourself a favor, get a drill block. These small guides are usually rectangular, about an inch thick and several inches long. They work by giving you smooth bored metal holes that can act as an initial guide for your drill bit. And the various holes are sized for drill bits of different diameters. So to use a drill block, you can simply set your desired hole diameter over the spot where you'd like to drill. You can sight down through the hole for lineup accuracy, and most of them have rubber feet that keep them from sliding or moving. With the drill bit of appropriate size chucked in and the block pressed down firmly to your surface, you can carefully insert the bit into the hole, pull the trigger, and spin up to full speed. Then, as you press the drill downwards, the metal sleeve will guide it, keeping it perfectly square and vertical. If you're making a deep hole, you can drill to full depth, back the bit out, remove the drill block, and then simply continue without it. The initial lineup will still keep your drill bit straight. Or you can mark your finish depth on the upper portion of the drill bit with some tape. And it's easy to test this depth with a scrap held next to the bit on top of the drill block. Many drill blocks will even have other features, such as saddle mounts that are sized to center up on the edge of a board, or chamfer grooves that will let you drill into corners or even circular objects. And notches on the side walls of the drill block give you an easy way to line up your hole with the mark location on the edge of a board. If you need a wider diameter hole, you can start with the smallest hole, like an eighth, then step up bit sizes with the guide, or dispense with the guide and just bore by hand using feel and resistance to maintain that initial lineup. That's really all there is to drill blocks. They're just so easy. And if you're wondering how accurate they are, I've tested drill block holes against squares and found they're astonishingly close to 90 degrees, probably off by no more than a single degree. There are all sorts of them available on the market, some a bit fancier with more angles built in, but my favorites are just these plastic and metal blocks. They weigh almost nothing, fit well in your hand, and slip right into a tool belt. For 10 bucks, they're just such a great little tool and they can be used over and over again. So if you'd like to get one, I'll add some links below in the description. Feel free to shop those links. I use a Milescraft right now, but there are numerous others available. Anyways, I hope that helps. Be sure to visit us at thehonestcarpenter.com where I've got some great instructional freebies. And check out our new online course, Power Tools Explained. As always, thanks for watching and I hope you'll consider subscribing. I'm Ethan James with thehonestcarpenter.com. I'll see you next time.